He died as a lamb, but he's coming back as a lion, friends. And I believe that God is putting a little bit of fight back into Christianity. And I don't believe that's strength of your own ability. We have not got the strength. It says in Ephesians 6.10, to be strong in the power of his might. It's in him. It's in him we live, move, and have our being. It's in him we're a new creation. It's all in him. It's in him we're hidden with God in Christ Jesus. It's only in him that we can walk in victory, friends. And I want to encourage you this morning. There is an authority that you have as a child of the Most High God. Ephesians 6.10 famous portion of scripture and I'm sure we can talk about it for a long time but friends in this moment I want to focus on the fact that God has placed a shield of faith two things a shield of faith that will extinguish all the fiery darts of the wicked one and he's placed a sword in your other hand the sword of the spirit See, friends, I think, you know, reading this scripture and listening to these, these verses, it's very clear that we are engaged in a battle. If God has placed a shield in one hand and a sword in your other hand, friends, don't tell me that we're not in a fight. Praise God, we have the victory through the blood. We are victorious through the resurrection. But nevertheless, if we don't enforce that victory, when Satan comes and whispers his temptation and puts pressure on your flesh, friends, we're not called to just give up and just fall into that sin. Friends, when Satan brings a sinful thought, how about this? Shut up, devil. Move in the name of Jesus. I have the helmet of salvation. I have the mind of Christ. And you're treading on ground that doesn't belong to you because I have the mind of Christ. When a headache tries to creep up on you, rather than running to the paracetamol cupboard without thinking twice, how about just grabbing your hand and placing it there and saying, Get out in the name of Jesus. Be gone. See, I believe, friends, what the Lord wants to do in this place. He wants, to, he wants us to build a reputation in the realm of the Spirit. He wants us to be a people that are strong in the Spirit. We're in a war zone, friends. There may be a war going on in the Middle East. But friends, there's a war zone in the realm of the Spirit. And I believe intercession, friends, is not just being in a closet somewhere, binding up imaginary devils. There may be a place for that. We love intercession, we love praying. But friends, it's warfare when someone is suffering with a sickness or an oppression or going through division in their life. That's war. And it's going to take a spirit-filled child of God to not just, you know, run to this leader or individual. There may be a place for community. There is. We believe that. But sometimes you'll be walking through the shadow of the valley of death. Sometimes there won't be anyone to hold your hand. And in them moments where Satan is putting pressure on your flesh, in them moments where it seems like the whole, whole world is falling down upon you, friends, it's in them moments we need to stand on the word. It's in them moments that we need to speak faith and speak the authority that God has given us even when it feels like we have no strength. It's warfare, friends, when someone has a spirit or a demonic force sucking the life out of them. And I want to encourage you. God wants to use you to touch lives. God wants to use you to see the sick healed. God wants to use you. He wants to use you, friends, everywhere you go, whether it's in your universities, whether it's in your colleges, whether it's in your, you know, in the shops that you go shopping in. God wants to use you. And you may not know Jesus in this place, and I want to encourage you. Christianity isn't a boring, dead religion. It's the most fun adventure I have ever been on in my life. You know, and one of the things that happens when you, you know, 
walk in the Spirit and, and attempt to develop a reputation in the realm of the Spirit, friends, Satan won't like you. Demons will tremble when you walk into the room. Friends, when we walk into a coffee shop, we're not called to conform to the atmosphere of the coffee shop and start acting like the coffee shop. We're called to walk in that place and change the atmosphere, friends. When we stand on the Word and we're walking close with the Lord, friends, we change the atmosphere and angels travel with us.